What's up y'all, welcome back to Fish the Moment. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the winter fishing gear I use to make sure that I stay warm on the water when it's freezing outside, but it still allows me to fish efficiently and like I do when it's warm outside. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so before we jump into the video, I wanna let you guys know that I've actually tried to film this video twice before, once last year and once just a couple weeks ago. And every time I film this video for some reason, the gloves or the outerwear that I recommend are completely discontinued by the time I try to post the video. That means I can't share links with you to the type of clothing I recommend and it kind of defeats the purpose of the video. And so I finally was able to find some gloves as well as some outerwear that is in stock that you'll be able to use and buy on the market right now and it'll keep you warm and fishing well all winter long. So let's jump into it. Okay, so by far the number one question I get on my winter fishing videos is which gloves am I wearing in my videos? A lot of you have maybe seen videos where I'm wearing gloves and you can see that I cast really well in them and that they don't hinder my ability to fish. And you guys wanna know what gloves am I using? Well, I've used several different pairs of gloves over the years in my videos. And I used to use these Under Armour gloves that were really nice and low profile. And I love those gloves, but when I went to make a video about them, I realized they've been discontinued and I couldn't find them anywhere. And there were a couple other types of gloves I've tried over the years that just didn't really work that well, that weren't that warm, or they just didn't cast as well as those Under Armour gloves I found. But just the other day, I found some really, really nice gloves that were perfect for casting and they kept my hands warm. And so I was super excited to make a video about them for you guys. And then I realized when I put out the video, those were discontinued as well. But don't worry. I actually was able to find a supplier that had some of them left in stock and I actually bought them and put boom, the Fish the Moment logo on the gloves. And I only have 85 pairs of these gloves. That's all I'm gonna be able to get. But these are awesome gloves. And I actually wore them in one of my recent videos where I talked about skipping a spinnerbait under boat docks. And these gloves are really low profile. They are really have a really good grip on them to grip the rod. And more than anything, I can actually skip jigs, skip spinner baits, all kinds of baits with these gloves, no problem. And I also love them because they're very, very warm. And they actually keep my hands warm even when it's 30 degrees outside. And so I love these gloves so much. And I was really bummed when I realized they were discontinued. Again, another good pair of gloves that gets discontinued on me. So what I wanted to do is actually buy up as many of these gloves as I could, and then I put the Fish the Moment logo on there just for some extra flash. And I'm actually selling them on my website right now on my merch page on my website. So if you want to order some of these Fish the Moment casting gloves, check out my website, fishthemoment.com. I have 85 pairs on the website. When they're gone, they're gone. I won't be able to make any more. I do plan on testing out other gloves to find something comparable, but it takes me years sometimes to find another good pair of fishing gloves. And the gloves, again, are, these aren't waterproof by any means, but they are really warm and you can cast really well in them. And so I would definitely recommend picking up a pair. I'm gonna be using these in my videos. I stashed away about 10 pairs for myself, so I'm gonna keep using these for the foreseeable future in the winter. They're awesome gloves. And so if you order these by December 15th, you can get them in time for Christmas. And again, they say fish the moment on one hand, so you remember all the advice I'm giving in my videos. And it has the fish the moment logo on the other hand. So really excited about these gloves. And so these are the gloves I wear when the temperatures are between about 30 and 50 degrees outside. It's not super, super cold, and also when it's not raining. But these gloves are really great in those conditions, but they're not that great when it's below 30 degrees and when it's raining. And so for those situations, I actually use the Glacier Glove. And these gloves are anything but low profile, but they are super warm, and you can actually cast in them okay because they have these finger holes in them. And so you can actually pop out your thumb and pop out your forefinger and cast in these things. And really, I don't even put out my forefinger. I just use my thumb and keep that out. And 
that's pretty much it. And you can see these gloves are super massive and chunky. They're not low profile at all, and they aren't that easy to cast in. Uh, you can't really skip a jig in these gloves that well, though I have before. And it's a little bit clumsy to fish a spinning rod in them at times as well. But when it's raining, when it's freezing outside, below 30 degrees and raining, these gloves will keep your hands dry and warm. And so they, again, may not be the perfect solution. I would definitely be using the fish moment casting glove if I was trying to just fish in regular conditions, 30 to 50 degrees, no rain. But in the severe conditions, these glacier gloves are awesome. And I've had this pair of glacier gloves now for five years. They're really, really sturdy, and I really, really like them. And so I'm gonna leave the links in the description of where you can pick up some of these glacier gloves online. And I would definitely recommend getting a pair if you're fishing in severe conditions, if you're a tournament angler who fishes in the winter a lot and is dealing with times when it's just super cold and miserable. And so these are the two types of gloves I wear day in, day out in the water in the winter. And so I would definitely recommend preparing yourself for winter conditions with these gloves. And I have tested again so many pairs of gloves over the years to find the right ones. And finally, these are the ones that I found that I like. And so definitely check them out. And so next up, let's get into some of the apparel I wear when I'm fishing in the winter time. So as far as my clothing goes, one thing I always wear underneath all my clothing is Under Armour. And I actually wear the thermal Under Armour that has kind of the fleece lining in it. Really like this stuff. This is the cold gear Under Armour. And if you can get the little bit extra heat from that wool, it will keep you insulated and keep you warm all day. And I never am cold on the water when I go fishing, even when temperatures are in like the 20 degree range, just because I have this Under Armour shirt, I also have Under Armour leggings that I wear, stockings, and so I have those, and those are really great. And so I will always wear my Under Armour. And then on top of that, I usually wear some sort of hoodie, or whatever jacket I want to wear. And then I top it off with a wind resistant rain jacket. And the one that I've been using for years is the Frable F3 Gale rain suit. And this actually has been discontinued though you can find some online on Amazon for like 80 bucks, which is crazy. And so I would definitely recommend checking out the Frable F3 Gale rain suit while the supplies last. And I basically have the coat here and the reason I really like this rain suit in particular is it has these sleeves that are basically skin tight and they insulate your wrists so that you don't have any water getting into your sleeves. And this sleeve does that. And there's also the Stormer uh, rain jackets that do that as well. And the Stormer brand jackets are really good jackets. They're a little bit pricey, but I mean, this rain suit I've had for five, six years now, and it still works perfectly. And so if you invest in a really nice rain suit, it's definitely gonna be worth it. And usually I don't go for like the lighter rain suits, the ones that have um, just like light rain protection. I want something that's heavy duty, that's a little bit thicker. This isn't a raincoat you're gonna be wearing in the summer when it's 100 degrees. This is built for the colder temperatures, the rain, the wind. And so I would go for a rain jacket like this, and then I would match that with some bibs. Bibs will change your life, guys, when you're fishing. And you've seen me wear these before. Bibs keep me warm. They go all the way up to kind of my chest range, which is awesome to kind of insulate my core. And then they also protect my legs from the wind, from the rain, and I always make sure that I'm wearing some sort of bib as well as some sort of jacket. I have some other jackets that I've worn over the years. I have a red mercury uh, bibs and jacket that you might see me wear sometimes as well. And really the big thing is you want to get a, a jacket and bibs that are rated for kind of the higher intensity winds as well as a little bit cooler temperatures. You don't want the summer rain suit going on. And so the Stormer brand is really the best one I recommend that still has stuff on the market. Uh, you can also get some of the different rain suits from like Cabela's Bass Pro Shops. Those will work as well. But go for something that's maybe about $150 for the bibs, $150 for the jacket. Go about that price range and then up. Definitely don't go for the budget like 
20, 30, $40 bibs and jacket, or even like an $80 bibs and jacket, those things will break, they won't keep you warm, and the last thing you want in the water is to be freezing and miserable out there. And so definitely spend a little bit more on your raincoat uh, or your rain jacket and your rain bibs for winter fishing, it will make your day a lot less miserable. And if you have this match with your gloves, maybe throw a beanie on that you can use to keep your head warm and you are going to be good to go for winter fishing. And so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It was not really that groundbreaking of a video other than maybe the gloves because that is a pain in the butt to find gloves, I'm telling you guys. So definitely check out the gloves on my website on fishthemoment.com. Get those before December 15th so they ship by Christmas. And then other than that, uh, hopefully this was helpful information and will keep you guys warm and fishing all winter long. So thanks again for checking out this video and I'll see y'all in the next one.